decided to print a couple of pictures out when I went to Italy a couple years back. While I was studying, I was able to visit many places and so I just took pictures and I decided to convert them to black and white and print them in different sizes so that I can put them in frames and use it as decoration for my apartment. First thing you want to do is um, well, get the frames. <laughs> I was lucky enough to find some of these simple black frames at the Dollar Tree store for a dollar. So I got several of those. Since I saved so much money, I decided to splurge on a bigger frame for the main piece. And this one I believe I got at Walmart for like three, three dollars maybe? Definitely under five dollars. So it's quite simple. Let me start with the big one. This one, what you want to do is open it up. And these, I printed out at Walmart, but you can print them out anywhere. I'm sure like CVS or Walgreens or all of them have like the one hour pictures. I like going to Walmart because they have their own kiosk that you could do it yourself so you don't have to you could either put your order online and just go pick it up or you can take your USB drive and just select the picture you want to print select the size and then within like five ten minutes you got them and that's how it looks and I like the idea of it being like simple like just black and white for this one obviously it's cheaper um just open it up and since it didn't have background, I guess you could call it, I um, simply cut out some paper for the size. I don't want this to be, um, for the picture to be like falling around. So, this is why I'm going to use some tape. Just any kind of scotch tape or... I'm using what I have. I don't have any money <laughs> to get like fancy stuff. So, this is what I have. I have tape. Put it there and try to center it so that it'll be right in the middle. Hopefully, that's even. All right, and then this one, since the paper's a little bit like on the sheer side, I cut to pieces and just turn around. Since I already measured it, when I cut it out, it should be the correct size. And just make sure you have it on. It's pretty even. That works. And then you put that back. The problem with these cheap, cheap frames <laughs> is that you have to you have to probably use like scissors or something to help you put the little I don't know little tabs down. I've tried using my fingers and it kind of hurts just put it down so that the frame the picture the everything doesn't move I'm sorry I keep like sniffing I have a bit of a cold and there you go so I have this big empty wall right above my bed on it a big piece of art or something hanging there but uh, since they're pretty expensive and there hasn't really been anything that I really like. I decided to do this. Yeah. Um. So that one's a Colosseum in Rome. Gonna St. Mark's Square. Just looked up and saw the tower and the lights and I thought so cute. At San Gimignano, that's a piazza. That is from the Forum. I don't know if it's a Roman Forum. Something Forum. And the last one is of a canal in Venice. I told you it got a lot of frames. So I put two more in my restroom because that's not you know. <laughs> to decorate the restroom too, I don't know. What's up? Gondolas in Venice too. Tower of Pisa. Pisa. I almost forgot this one too. This is another frame. It's in Milan. There's just a lot of things that I want to do in my house that I want to decorate, but I just don't have the moolah. <laughs> I don't have that much 
money to buy all these pretty things that I like. So I try to work with what I have and just create my own. So that's good too, and I get to customize it. I really like it and got a lot of compliments over it. Well, they knew that I had gone to Italy, so they asked, are those the pictures you took in the I'm like, yes. Like, oh, that looks really professional. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, you know. No, I'm like, thank you. But I told them, like, actually, and I told them the whole story about it. The frames are only a dollar, and the pictures I printed out at Walmart, and, you know, I splurged on the big frame for, like, three dollars. And I just, they started cracking up. <laughs> but you don't have to tell people this, okay? When they ask, I tell them because I'm proud of the fact that I can do stuff for like cheap. <laughs> when you find a way around not spending that much money but still creating something cute and affordable and pretty, I want to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this idea. 